while back I tried to make a Weller compatible soldering station because I wanted to use uh, an indestructible Weller iron without paying two or three hundred bucks for a set. I quickly abandoned that idea because I got a relatively cheap WSF81D on eBay. That's equipped with another output for automatic wire feeding, but I never used that feature. Now I've got some new tasty parts to desolder and I felt the urge to improve my gear a bit. So I bought a new DSX80 desoldering iron, a rather expensive little beast, but as I'm not using that on a daily basis I think it should outlast me. And a 24 volt vacuum pump. Didn't look for anything specific, just took the first one that appeared. With these parts I wanted to revive my ambitious DIY soldering station plans, but again something changed my mind. I didn't expect anything, but out of pure curiosity I plugged in the DSX80 into my WSF81D and surprisingly it was fully compatible. It heats up. The temperature readout is spot on and when pressing the button on the desoldering iron the secondary output LED lights up too. I connected the vacuum pump to the secondary output and that would have almost worked as well but the output transistor was a flimsy 100 milliamp one that immediately bit the dust. With this crude replacement the front panel doesn't fit anymore but it confirmed that it can work, even with the variable speed setting. So in a rather risky self-surgery with isolated tip, I dropped in the highest current same pinout transistor I could find. And I also treated myself to a beautiful Amphenol connector for that secondary output. Works wonderfully. Now all that's left to do is to make an awesome enclosure. I'll be using calipers and LibreCAD.
and I'm converting the drawings to G-code with HexCAD and its CAM plugin HexCNC. For these simple shapes, manual G-code writing would probably be the better choice, because this CAM software decided to round my outside corners for some reason. But the final result after moving was perfect, even though manual workpiece clamping is absolutely not recommended. Made a big mess, but nothing Charles couldn't handle. In my opinion, that was well worth the effort. Now it needs assembly and gluing and we are done. Now that I have a lot more of these electromagnetic 7-segment displays, I think I'll have another crack at making a clock out of those. <laughs> 